In this video, you're going to learn what Power BI Report Builder is, and we're going to talk about a feature that you absolutely need to know about if you're going to use it. And while I won't tell you what that feature is just now, I will give you a hint. It launched as a preview feature in March of 2024. Hi, my name's Ned. This right here, this little guy is my dog, Jai. And today we're going to be talking about Power BI Report Builder which is this tool right here. As you can see, it's actually a separate application from Microsoft Power BI desktop. However, it is part of the Power BI reporting suite. It makes paginated reports, which are essentially reports that are designed for printing or displaying grid data in like a grid-like pattern, very similar to Excel. The UI is not very user friendly or up to date because it's essentially just a modern version of SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS. Similar to SSRS, it also uses RDL or Report Definition Language, which is a variant off of XML. So that's Power BI Report Builder. I'm not going to show you how to use it in this video, which if you're interested, <laughs> There is a video linked down below in the video description where I walk you through an end-to-end -end project using Power BI Report Builder. But what I am going to talk to you about is Power Query in Power BI Report Builder, which is the feature that you need to know about it. And you might be like, well, I already know Power Query because I know it in Power BI Desktop and I know it in Excel. Well, that's true. However, Power Query in Paginated Report Builder is just a teensy little bit different. So let's jump back into the computer and let's talk about it. So here we are in a blank report. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get data by clicking this data tab right here and then clicking this get data button, which opens up Power Query Online, which is the first way that Databricks is, or not Databricks, the first way that Power Query in Power BI Report Builder is different from Power Query in, for example, Power BI Desktop or Excel. And the reason why I said Databricks is because we are going to be connecting to data in our Databricks free account, which by the way, if you want a Databricks free account, I've made a video on that also linked down in the video description. And we're going to be connecting to it by grabbing our server host name and our HTTP path. So I'm going to search for Databricks right here. Then I'm going to paste in my server host name, which is right here, and in my free SQL warehouse. I then am going to go back over here, and I'm going to grab my HTTP path. And then I am, I actually already did a connection, but I used an OAuth connection. And I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to load in the sample data. Now, what's really cool about this being Power Query Online with Power BI Report Builder is that it means that every single time that someone opens up this report, it executes the Power Query code, which both can mean longer load times depending on your report build, but also means that potentially your business users get data that's a lot more accurate or you know a lot more real time. I shouldn't have said accurate there. Okay, all right. Databricks is loaded, so now jumping back in, you can see right here, I have my simulated retail customer data in my Databricks free account. And when I go down and I load my customers right here and click this transform data, you'll see it opens up Power Query, at which point I can then hit create to create this connection. And we can actually see how Power Query is working in Power BI Report Builder or in Paginate Report. As you can see, it's created a data source. And that data source is just simply Power Query. And then it's created a data set. And in that data set, we have the table that was loaded via Power Query. And what does that table look like if we right click it and we look at data set properties? Well, that table has our M query code right here has the query type of text and the data source being Power Query. So I thought that this was really cool and worthy of a video. I know this feature has been out for almost a year now, but Power BI Report Builder doesn't always get the love that I think it deserves. 
Now, if you want to continue to learn about Power BI Report Builder and work on a project of your own, I have, I think, almost an hour and a half of video that is linked down in the video description for you to continue learning. So go ahead and check that out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.